Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Minecraft Bedrock server. Hosting your own server can be useful if you want to have many of your friends on one world at once, and you don't want to pay for Minecraft Realms. Once you have the server set up, all versions of Minecraft can join except Java Edition players. Now let's begin with the tutorial. first step is downloading all the files from the Minecraft website. I'll have a link for this down below in the description. Click the I agree checkbox and then click the download button. The next step is to extract all the files. This may take a while since there are many small files. Once that's done, open the newly extracted folder and double click the server.properties file. If you don't have file extensions turned on, just double click the server file. Then click open with notepad. Now this is the tricky part. This determines how your server will function and whether it's on survival mode and other things like that. For server name, you can name it anything you want. The server name is only visible to you and not the players joining it. Under it, for game mode, you can choose Survival, Creative, or Adventure. Survival is just the basic Minecraft mode. Creative is more of a sandbox version and Adventure is just viewable. For difficulty, there's Peaceful, Easy, Normal, and Hard. The difficulty level only applies to Survival mode though. The next box is allow cheats. You can either have this as true or false. If it's true, you can add coordinates and other things like that. You can change the max player number depending on how many people you think are gonna join your server. For online mode, just leave it as true. For server port, leave this as default, but write this down since we need to use this for later. For max threads, I recommend setting it as zero so the playing experience for the people who join will be as smooth as possible. The level name will only be viewable by you. The level C determines where the spawn point is for the Minecraft world. You can choose any level C that you find on Google. I'll leave a link to the article I use in the description. You can just copy and paste the level seed. After that, everything else can be left as default. Just save the file and close it. After that, just double click the bedrock underscore server dot exe file and launch the server. If you get a pop up, just click allow access. Once you see server started in the info box in the command prompt, then you can move on to the next step. For this part, you need to go to your router's settings panel. You might have to go to a website, but I can do it through my app. 
look for something called advanced networking or port forwarding or something along the lines of that. Once you get to a page similar to this, for the ports, enter the number that you use for your server port in the server.properties file. If you left it as default, you can just enter 19132. Then at the bottom, click TCP and UDP. Next, to test the server, just open Minecraft on your phone or a Windows 10 or Xbox and go to the server tab at the last page and scroll down to the bottom. For the server address, you need to use your public IP address. I'll have a link below in the description how to find it and you just have to open the link on any phone or desktop in the web browser. At the top of the page, it will say your IP address is and then your IP address. Just use that and then put it under server address. For server name, you can name it anything you want. This name is only visible to you. And that's it, your server now works and you can join it anytime. To allow your friends to join, just share the server address and the port number and they will be able to join through their Minecraft app. Sometimes when you or your friends are trying to join the Minecraft server, they might get this error. To fix it, all you have to do is just update it. Once again, go back to the download website and download the full zip file. Before updating the server, make sure the server is not running. Once you do that, unzip the newly downloaded file. Open the extracted folder and copy the bedrock underscore server .exe file and paste it into the other folder. This will make sure that the world data and all the server properties will stay the same, but the server will be updated. And that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and leave all your questions in the comment section below.